Welcome to Electra Online. Another interesting component of understanding our solar system is looking at the orbital speed of the various planets. It turns out the planets that are close to the Sun move a lot faster than the planets that are far away from the Sun. For example, Mercury speeds along, along its path around the Sun at 47.9 kilometers per second. That is almost 30 miles per second. Venus, a little slower, but still fast at 35 kilometers per second, and the Earth just shy of 30 kilometers per second. Mars, a little slower, 24. Jupiter, 13. Saturn, just below 10 kilometers per second. Uranus at 6.8 kilometers per second. And Neptune, finally, being so far out, at 30 astronomical units out, just kind of moseying along at 5.5 kilometers per second. Why is that? Why do the planets move slower? Well, it all has to do with the relationship between the distance between them and the laws of physics that control the motion. For example, if you take the sun right here, here's the sun, and here's a planet, there will be a force of attraction between them. The force of attraction, according to Newton, is equal to g times the mass of the sun times the mass of the planet divided by the distance between them squared. That then becomes a centripetal force, the force by which the planet gets pulled towards the sun. Now, normally, if that force of attraction, gravitational force, would not be there, of course, the planet would go straight instead of on a path around the sun like this. Newton's first law says that any object in motion will simply continue a straight line motion unless some force comes along to change that. So the force that we see here is equal to the gravitational force and it can be calculated by Newton's law of gravity. Now if we set that equal to the centripetal force, if we say this is equal to F sub C, which is equal to mv squared over r, and of course that would be m sub 2, the mass of the planet, so this would be m1, this would be m2, then you can see if we set those two equal to each other, we can see that g times m1, m2 divided by r squared is equal to m2 v squared divided by r. Notice that the m2s cancel out, one of the r's cancel out, and if we solve this for v, you can then see that v is equal to the square root of the gravitational constant, the mass of the sun, divided by the distance between the planet and the sun. So this would be m1, the mass of the sun, so therefore the orbital velocity, which we have here as an equation, that's a force, exact same equation, only depends upon the mass of the sun and the distance from the planet to the sun. The mass of the planet has no bearing. So that's why, as you go farther and farther out, as r becomes bigger, v will become smaller. And so the, in order to stay in orbit around the sun, the planets that are farther away simply must move slower and slower and slower to stay in orbit around the sun. And that's how we can then calculate what these speeds are. And simply by then plugging in the mass of the sun, which is 1.99 times 10 to the 30 kilogram, and the distance, in this case, I use an example, the distance from the Earth to the sun in meters, use the gravitational constant, we can calculate the number that we got here at 29.8 kilometers per second. And that's how we figure out the orbital speeds, and you can see they become slower as you go farther out into the solar system. And that's how we figure that out.